Hello everyone, in this session we'll continue to look at uh, navigation and routing. In this particular session, we'll look at two different ways of navigating to a different view. Uh, so, um, Okay, so we'll look at two different ways of navigating to a different view. Uh, so the first way is by changing the hash. And I believe that we also looked at it uh, briefly in the previous session. Uh, so the router, the SAP UI5 router, has a nav2 method, and it takes the name of the route. Uh, so for example, let's say that our route is routing.com slash hash. Uh, so at this moment, this is our home, home view. Uh, so we haven't uh, navigated to any other view. Uh, and let's say in our manifest.json file, we have this particular configuration for our routing. Uh, so we have the name of the route as employees, and we have a pattern that is employees. So uh, as we all know, pattern is what goes after the hash. Uh, so you would have employees here. And then you have a target that now tells uh, which uh, view to target. Uh, so this target employees is now uh, pointing to employee.xml. Uh, so if the hash becomes employees, uh, then this target employees uh, will get a hit and it will go and it will navigate to this employee.view.xml. So basically, that's what it does. So the router.nav2, it takes the name of the route. So this method takes the name of the route. Uh, so we pass in the name of the route, which is employees here. And what the router will do is it will change the hash to employees. And because it changes the hash to employees, uh, this target employees now points to employee.view.xml. So we navigate to uh, employees.view.xml. So at the end of the day, uh, your uh, routing will go, your URL will look something like this, routing.com slash employees. Now the other uh, method, and, and I believe this is the method that you would normally use. The nav2 method is what you would use in your application for quite a bit. Uh, you would use it at least 70, 80% of the time. Uh, there is another way of uh, changing to a different view, and that is without changing the hash. Um, and obviously you may be asking why we would need to do something like this. There are a couple of uh, scenarios why you may want to change, go to a different view without changing the hash, uh, especially if you are uh, going to display some kind of uh, temporary errors or if you are going to switch to an edit view or something like that. Um, but uh, this is something that you would use uh, very minimally, in my opinion. Uh, now here, uh, we are not going to be changing the hash at all. Um, so it's still going to be before and after is still going to be routing.com slash hash. Uh, so what we do is we get the list of targets. So we get, uh, so there's the target employees, there's the target home, there's the target invalid, everything that we have uh, specified in our uh, in our manifest.json. So we get a list of targets and we simply display a target. Uh, so we don't change the hash or anything like that. Um, so the uh, before uh, doing this display, our uh, URL will look something like this, routing.com slash hash. So the hash is empty here. And then you do something like this. You get the targets, you display, and you display the whatever target you want to display. And at the end of the day, if you look at the URL, it'll still be routing.com slash hash, uh, empty uh, hash. Okay, so let's look at these two different ways of navigating to a different view. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go to my home.view.xml and uh, I have two buttons here. Uh, so one is it's going to display an invalid target uh, and we are going to use the display method. And the other one, we are going to use the nav2 method. So let's start with the nav2 method first. Uh, so I go into my home controller.js because uh, uh, on nav2 valid uh, route. So we need to val uh, uh, we need to define the method here. Uh, so let's go into the home controller.js, and here in the home controller.js, uh, let's first do the on nav2. And so it's fairly simple. Uh, we do the this get router. Uh, so this is the on press 
uh, event of the button. Uh, so we get this get router, and this get router is defined in base controller, and this gives us the uh, this gives us the router for our application. So the router has a nav2 method, and it takes the employees the name of the uh, route. Uh, and obviously, we haven't uh, defined the name of the route, so we go into manifest.json, and here uh, we define a new route. Uh, so we call that employees. And the pattern that needs to be matched is uh, slash employees. So this is what needs to go after the hash. And if if it goes after the hash, if there is employees after the hash, uh, this target is where we want to go. So this target, uh, I'm going to specify it as going to employees. Uh, so we've create we need to create a new view uh, that says employees. And once this route is hit, we need to go to employees. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly create this employees uh, view. Uh, so we'll call it employees view dot XML and. Oh, we already have an employees view.xml. Uh, so this is fairly simple. Uh, there's nothing in it. The title is employees. Uh, so it's just a basic uh, view uh, with uh, nothing in it. And we also have an employees controller. And also, this has nothing. Uh, it's fairly empty. OK, so let's make sure that this works. Uh, so what I will go ahead and do is run it. And we should have these two buttons. Uh, obviously, we've only coded for the first one, the nav to employees. Uh, so let's click on navigate to valid route. And obviously, this took us to employees, which is good. And if you go to the end of the URL, and you can see in our hash, we see that there is slash employees. So the key takeaway is when we do this uh, nav to method, um, then we go into like the uh, the hash changes, and then we get navigated to employees. Okay, now let's look at the other way, where we are not changing the hash. So let me quickly go here, and for the other uh, home dot controller dot js, uh, let's go ahead and um, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, code that as well. And here, uh, like I mentioned before, we are not going to be changing the hash. We get the list of targets. Uh, so we, again, this get router from the base controller. We get the list of targets, and we simply display one of the targets. So we don't change the uh, hash at all. So let's uh, see what happens. Uh, so I will close this guy, run this again. and display invalid target, and it uh, worked fine. It took us to the target invalid. And the key thing here is you don't see the hash is empty. So there's no, uh, we haven't modified the hash at all. The key, uh, the key thing here is the hash is empty. Now, there is a drawback. I mean, there is not a drawback, but there is an unwanted side effect in this. Uh, so that is when I click on the home back button, the back button no longer works. Uh, let's look at why the back button no longer works. Uh, the back button no longer works because of this uh, reason. So before we called the display, uh, this was the hash. Uh, this was the URL. Uh, the hash was empty. Now, after calling the display, uh, this is the URL. So the URL hasn't changed. So uh, basically, the history hasn't changed, and uh, the router uh, doesn't, uh, it thinks that we are in the same page uh, because uh, the URL hasn't changed. And therefore, uh, there is no, uh, it doesn't uh, route you back. It doesn't know where to route you back. So we need to add some additional code to fix this back button. And this is how we do it. Um, so as soon as we come to go to the new uh, new view, so we use the display method to go to the new view. As soon as we go to the new view, in the init method of the new view, uh, we need to make this call. We need to say, hey, did you come using the display method? We just want to query if it came with the display method, if you came to this view 
using the display method. And if you did come from the display method, uh, where did you come from? So we want to hold on to that information. Uh, so if he, if you came to the this new view using the display method, uh, you want to query and find out where you came from and then hold on to this information on where you came from. Now, when you do the go back method, uh, so we need to add some additional code and say, hey, I know you came from the display method uh, because uh, the display method doesn't change the URL. Uh, so, uh, but we already know that he came from the display method and we also know where he came from. So we are kind of basically doing what the history would do, uh, but uh, just for this one particular uh, way of moving about. Uh, so we know we came from the display method and I know where you came from. So we kind of have the history for this display method. Uh, so if you came from the display method, uh, I can send you back to this, the same view. And when you, send you, when you send him back to the same view, you also use the display method. So let's see how we put this all together, right? Uh, so here in my, uh, uh, not found controller.js. Uh, so on my on init method, I need to figure out where he came from. Uh, and I can do this in a couple of ways. Uh, okay, so what are we doing here? So we are getting the router. I guess we could just get the router from the uh, base controller itself. Uh, yeah, so we are getting the router from the base controller. Uh, we are getting the target uh, invalid, target invalid. And we are asking, hey, uh, did you come using this display method uh, for this target invalid? Did you come to this view uh, by doing this display? So this is how you would ask if you came to this uh, uh, view using the display method. Now, if you did come to this view by the display method, then I'm going to store the data uh, of where you came from. Now this data needs to be passed. Uh, so I'll show you how to pass this. So basically we are going to hold on to how we came to this view uh, or from where we came to this view. Uh, so here uh, in my in my home controller.js, I need to add a little bit of code. So here, in addition to saying that I came from, uh, that we displayed the target invalid, I also want to say, uh, I also want to pass in some data. And here I can give uh, an object uh, and I can say anything here, uh, but I, I'm just going to say from this, uh, from target, uh, this value can be anything you want and uh, the target that we came from is home. So basically we are saying, hey, go to this target invalid, uh, but I'm also passing in this method saying, uh, this, is my, this is my target. So if you need to come back, come back to target home. So we are passing this information and in my not found controller.js, I'm going, as soon as I come, I'm trying to find out if it came through the display method. And if it came through the display method, I'm going to grab onto this data and hold on to it for a while. And when I do the on nav back, uh, and what I want to do is I want to go back to, uh, go back to this, uh, this view that I have, uh, that I'm holding on to. Um, so I'm holding on to this target and this target value should be, target home and I want to go back to target home. Uh, so in the on nav back, what I'm going to do is uh, if there is a value for this O data, uh, so this is going to be the um, the value that we passed in. So this is the this is going to be from target target home. Again, this from target can be whatever value you have, whatever uh, you want. Um, and if there is a from target, obviously, if you change this to just say from, then uh, this will also be just say from. Um, and then we get the router, 
and then we go to targets and display so uh, the key thing is you want to go back to that view use using the display method not the nav2 method so don't use the nav2 method here and then once you go back you want to delete this because you don't want to hold on to this forever you want to delete this and then you want to return now supposing he didn't come using display he came here with nav2 method then we just call the base controllers nav back method and that base controller will take care of everything okay so let's see how this all plays out i will close this and if i go and run this if all goes well then we should be able to nav back so let me display this invalid target it goes to the invalid target i hit back and we are back okay that's it for now folks